Hi, I'm Aaron, the owner of Brisbane Yamaha, and I've been talking about yellowfin. Well, and we've seen them on the water, and Dan will put some on because these things are a true offshore weapon. Boats, boats, boats! Brisbane Yamaha knows boats. Now, we've been selling lots of them. Lots of people are talking about them. And today, I've got two that are coming out this week. Two 760 Southerners. Now, the Southerners got a bigger cabin. And what I've got here, this boat's actually going to the Philippines. Kim, the owner, he's had lots of boats. He's bought three off us and he, he's had dozens of boats himself and he knew exactly what he wanted. He looked around everywhere. He looked at all the custom boat builders, or like I say, backyarders, because they're normally all built in the backyard and that's why these things ride better. Now, but let's have a look at a couple of the options we've put on this. Well, Kim has. Now, obviously, it's got the, it's got the Tellwater trailer, two 750 kgs breakaway. Now, right off the trailer, we've got the catch and release. Shine on that, Dan. So, what you do, flip the lever on this side, simply up, release the boat, it rolls back onto here. Flip the lever back, and it's been held in here. Then when you move forward, it drops down, you reverse off. When you come to load the boat, put it up, drive up, that catches on here and done. Now, we've got videos on that. Keep, keep going, Dan. We've got the drum winch on the front. Fantastic and easy. I tell you, when I take my wife out and we get on the Chardonnay, we always drop it down. And at Brisbane Yamaha, if you go and get a drum winch, we put a Sarka anchor on it. Now, these are the best anchor. A lot of people will go, well, let's have a Malula bar pick. Well, this is the same with the slide. Beautiful, when you get hooked up on a reef, and all anchors get hooked up on reefs, and on rocks, and you twist around on wrecks or something. Now, when you do that, what you do is, you drive straight over the anchor, you winch up as tight as possible, and then this shackle slides down to the end and pulls it out back the way it came in. These things never get, it doesn't look like a reef anchor, but I tell you, I use them on reefs. Now, I still use a reef anchor on real hardcore reefs. If I was up north or somewhere out, I'd be putting a reef anchor because there's no problems with reefing. But on our shallow reefs around southeast Queensland, these things work beautiful. On the sand, everywhere at night. Now, keep coming back, Dan, because there's a couple of things. Shine up there. Two windscreen wipers. To get Dan will freeze on the specs list for a 750 Southerner. Fantastic thing. Got lots and lots of uh, features. Very few options. All right? Because it's all included. Let's have a look inside, Dan. Now, Kim's put a 250 on. These things can go from a 200 to a 300. I had one of your member and I've tested it with a 225 and I thought it was as fast as you ever want a boat. With a 250, they go. You know, you don't need any more, that's for sure. And with a 300, they're dangerous, especially a Yamaha. Some of them lesser brands, you probably need a 300, but not a Yamaha. You've got the trim tabs, you've got, a live, you've got the burly bucket. Have a look at this. Have a look at that transducer. Killer what? that'll almost be frying the fish. Self-draining decks, intakes, hydraulic steering. You've got the other, you've got the other true stand sounder because there's two sounder two sounder chart plotters on it these come standard with 235 litres of fuel at the front at the back you can have the option of either having another fuel tank or where the live bait where the kill tank normally goes so you can have another tank of 70 litres back here giving you 300 litres now let's remember 300 litres is one and a half 44 gallon drums not enough petrol for you? I'm calling bullshit. Now, have a look back here. This has all been painted in grey inside. It's full tone. As good as you, this is beautiful looking boat, isn't it? Beautiful, beautiful. Heaps of storage, all with cabins, self-draining deck, fold away removable seat. Your batteries are under here. Storage tray in here. You can see we've got the battery isolation easy to get to. Live bait tank with the glass window. Welded in rod holders. The biggest billy you'd ever want to catch on. You could put 24 gear in that. You'd have no problems. You'd probably put 80 pound in there and it wouldn't worry. Look at these real axe outriggers. You know, we can do anything at Brisbane Yammer. And, and we do do it all. Now, because Kim's had a lot of boats, he knows you've got to spend a lot of money and a lot of effort into electronics. He's gone with Simrad and they make a fantastic radar. Now this radar, believe it or not, 36 nautical miles from your boat. 
Now, a lot of people, yeah, it's a safety advice. You can know if you're drifting at, at rest, you can do things. The other thing you can do is you look around to see where all the other boats are fishing. When there's a lot of boats, there's normally a good spot. Now, we've got the big sander, they're all 12 inch. We've got the Yamaha War 6YC gauge, fabulous thing. It'll handle both fuel tanks, it handles the motors. Over here's your trim, your Volvo trim tabs, up and down, automatic, fantastic. Look, we've got a stereo here. Fabulous, I turn that down, speakers up the top here. This is how Brisbane Yamaha does it. It takes a lot more work, you gotta take all the hood lining down, but it's a lot better. Then of course over here, your anchor winch coming up and down here. You know, and look at these fabulous yellow fin gauge. Uh, gauges here, you know, and, and switch panel. Beautiful washers and live bait tank and bilge and nav lights. You've got a great big Simrad VHF here. You've got two because he, Kim goes remote areas. He's already, he's also got an AIS in it, which is a transponder so that other cargo ships can pick him up so he knows where he is at all times. Look at this side control, this concealed control box. You know, Yamahas, it's just beautiful. It really is, it's state of the art. There is nothing that work as well. Now, beautiful steering wheel. You've got these glass windows, easy to slide. This one's still a bit tight, but it'll loosen up, but that stops them from rattling. You know, wash the windows with the wiper. Oh, I love these, I love these. And of course, when you've got a radar, it's very easy to start putting autopilots and things on, you know. We'll zoom right in. I'll see if I can find it. Oh, I've zoomed out, of course. I've zoomed out 36 nautical miles. I'll zoom into a quarter mile. We'll see what kind of boats are around us. Oh, there you go. Danger Will Robinson. There's boats everywhere. Yeah, well, there is. And over here, look at this. This is his remote control spotlights. Turn him on, toggle. Uh, 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 uh. Some of this furniture inside, the backrests, the cushions, there's a bunk in fill, I think. Well, maybe there's not a bunk in fill, but you can put one in. Plenty of storage underneath, you know, and they're all poly molded. So everything stays dry and, you know, there's enough room to have a kip in there. Solid floor. There's some deck lights as well. And this is a good thing that a lot of people don't realise. You know, it's all right for me being tall, but have a look at this. If I want to get my rod in there, pull that. Pop your rod in, snap it back up. That is absolutely fantastic. You know, it makes it so easy. Oh, no, I'll show you something back here too, Dan. Spin around here. Have a look at this transom door, right? So it comes down, you walk over, or you just latch it up. Look how solid that is. And if you're in big seas and things are getting ugly, I'm telling you, this is the sort of boat. Why would you buy one? Why not buy a Trident? Well, I think if you, if, you know, Tridents are probably more stable. Tridents go easier to drive, right? And there's a lot of reasons to buy a Trident. But if you want a hardcore, hardcore fishing boat and you don't mind just, if you want to go fast out through those waves and you can drive, this is the boat for you. If you're thinking about buying a custom plate boat, you know, or a backyarder, because when you go and have a look at the factory, you'll find out they are a backyarder, so all of them. You should have a look at one of these yellow fins. Go for a ride in both and then tell you. And now what we're going to do, I've got another 760 coming out with a completely different configuration, different electronics. So let's have a look at that. Here we are in Brisbane Yamaha workshop. Not a lot of people come in here. And here's another 760 Southerner. Have a look. It's got completely different electronics. It's going to get a wrap down the side, one of our custom wraps. Beautiful thing. It's got the anchor winch, it's got the Sarko anchor. Everyone's going for these now because they're easy. As well as that, the catch and release, when we looked at it, you're silly not to get one of those. They're only a few hundred dollars and really could save your marriage. Now, come back here. Have a look, this one, Dan. Here's another one. This is, a, this is one of my favorite boats. For a six and a half meter, this yellow fin is one of the best riding boats I've been in. And if you're in the market under 70 Gs, Right, you should be looking at one of these things because they are fantastic. But come this way, Dan, because this is, this is a 100 grand boat. 100 plus, don't think you're coming in here for 100. These are serious units. Have a look from the back. Now, another 250 on it. Beautiful motor. They're famous, the Yamaha, 4.2 litres. Dan will put up the specs on them so you want to see. This is something we've been doing quite a lot of. 
underwater lights. Now, not only does it look good when you're parked at your back of your marina or something, it attracts fish. And at night, if you're on the reef, the small fish come in, the bigger fish, squid come in, catching fish out the back at night, having a few beers, fantastic. Now, let's come up here, because what we're gonna do, and Dan, whose idea of this, he said, why don't you show one in the workshop, Aaron, being made? So let's have a look. You can see we've got a couple of, it's filthy as, you know? Have a look in here, but you'll see underneath. Because what I want to show you, you see the floor, don't stand in there. Look at the size of that fuel tank. 235 litres. And this is a good one because I, now I can show you that kill tank. You know, where you chuck your fish in there, bleed them and then chuck them in the esky. Nothing better, it's plumbed straight out the back so it doesn't go in your hull. Right, beautiful fuel tank with sender. And up the front, now, shine up this way. This is Wayne and Bo. Stick your heads out, Wayne and Bo. Wayne and Bo have been with us a long time. They've been in the marine industry forever and fitting. They work as a team here, and this is why Brisbane Yamaha is famous for its workmanship, because we fit the most motors in Australia, and that gives us the most amount of practice, and it makes us the best. Well, these two blokes fit more motors than anyone in Australia ever, and they come in here, and they turn out the work, and then I know everything's perfect because Bo and Wayne have done it. So if you want to buy a motor and get it fitted, make sure you ask one of the salesmen, say, is Bo and Wayne fitting it? because I'll tell you, both of them are doing it at the same time. Now have a look at this. This boat here is another custom boat builder, a boat buyer. He's had lots and lots of boats. He's had some low rents. So the last one, we can put any electronics you've been on. If you're a hardcore fisherman and you've got used to a certain type of electronics, we can do it. Now we're a superstore for hummingbird and I like hummingbird, you've seen those. I like low rents, they all do their own thing and everyone's got it. Have a look at this custom trim work, this little, this peak here. Now that's the rear seat, so don't look up there, Dan, that's the rear seat. But under here, you can see, you unzip that to get to your rods. We've got a couple of lights back here to shine back for some night fishing. And uh, then, Wayne, what have we done here? We've got HDS 12, so another 12. We've also got the radar on the roof, right through the low rants. Yep. Uh, we've got a stereo, we've got the control box. Now, I noticed on the last boat, Wayne, you put the radio, the stereo speakers up in here and these ones on the door. What happened there? Why did you... Just customer request, that one. Customer request. And you can see here, there's gonna be a, a privacy screen there. You can see the trim. Now the sounders, what, are, what have we got here? We've got two 12 inch and one, oh, look at that. On a RAM bracket. Now, why did we put on a RAM bracket? Uh, same thing again, request for the customer. Request. And then, see, all, anything to do with the boat, we've already done, and we know. And this customer, I was talking to you about how, when I'm fishing, I like to be at the back and I like to be able to see a sounder, and when I'm driving, I like to be able to see the navigation. Now, back here, I could be off the side here jigging, and I could turn that sounder around and have a look. That way I know when, I, my, when my boat's in the, in the kill zone, I know when there's fish coming around, I know when to get serious. Because I'm a big fan of, if you can see fish, it doesn't mean you'll catch them. But if you can't see them, you're going to catch nothing. So I'm having a ham and pickle sandwich while everyone's mucking around. And then when I see the fish on the sand, I get up the back. That's why, I, well, I don't catch the most. No one beat me. Now, let's have a look at this. We've, uh, we've got basically the same dash as the last one. What's the red button over there, Wayne? That's a standby switch for the autopilot. So this has got autopilot on it. Fantastic. Is that all working yet? in the process of working. We might even come back and see how that is. Now, standby for autopilot, what's that do? Just kills it straight away. Oh, it turns it off. It's like the cruise control in your car. Right, so you, you're belting along. Now, I tell you, I love cruise control because I like going fishing by myself and you might be out there trawling, you put cruise control, put some waypoints out, it just drives itself at the right speed. You're heading across because, you know, like if you're catching pelagics, the pelagics sit in the wave. You don't want to go through the waves, you need to go along the waves. Because then your baits, your lures, are in the kill zone longer. Probably just going to catch you more fish there. That's how most of the pros are catching their Spanish, with that one technique. But anyway, yellow fin took 10 years in development by Tellwater. They are a true blue water boat, with true blue water performance. We've got the whole range, we're the biggest yellow fin dealer in Australia. If you're serious about going offshore fishing, get in a serious boat and come and see us and we'll take you on the water and show you how serious we are about selling you one. And I'll see you on the water.